to game two between Exit and Mihalik. This is going to be BSL season, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This is going to be BSL season 12 Chubba League Group A, round of 16. Or the replay bar there. Game one, very quickly going to Exit. I think Mia probably could have fought that out. I mean, he was definitely at a disadvantage, but SCVs fight pretty well against Marines. If you pulled four SCVs, still kept that factory up and running. Would have uh, been at a disadvantage, potentially, but wouldn't have been dead. Exit. Though with the convincing victory game one, this is going to be more of a macro-oriented map. This is a four-player map as well. And yeah, chat pointing this out. Exit with an insane amount of APM. Insane. More APM than he can even utilize right here. Who knows what he's doing? Really keeping those SCV in line. Anyway. Doesn't look like we're going to see... Well, maybe we'll see some cheese. No, okay. SCV is, in fact, building the SCV in the, the supply depot inside the base. And I'm going to say, even though it's TVT, I'm glad to be moving on to Chobo League. Mostly because Hasu League, I like the long economic games. It feels like they get really exciting once they get kind of that midpoint, right? But otherwise, it, it's kind of standard meta back and forth stuff. Little mistakes lead to big victories, like forgetting size from whatnot. Chobo League, you have no idea what's going to happen. No idea, which I think results in just really, really exciting matches. Again, Supply Depot kind of on the uh, out in the corner here. Barracks towards the front, but not a seal either way. We are seeing the Barracks perhaps in a blockade situation here for Exit. Exit now moving out an SEV scout. It looks like this time Miha is going to go ahead and scout bottom right hand first, so should have a scouting advantage. He's grabbing a refinery, as is Exit, so both players... Mirror builds at this stage. We'll see how many Marines end up, and how many Marines, how many SCVs end up inside bases equivalently. But at the very least, as far as an early opener, Miha, knowing that he is coming across his opponent in the bottom right hand corner, and actually might have an indication that he didn't run into an SCV, probably can feel like, okay, I can play a little bit lighter on Marines perhaps early and get a factory out, sneak it out a little bit faster. Getting another supply depot, he is producing an initial Marine. Initial Marine being produced opposite corner as well. We do have three SCV on gas, which suggests we're going to see some form of factory opener. And the Marine, it is going to be just a single Marine being produced here for Miha, so good play overall there. And actually, cancellation of the Marine initially from exit to get that factory out a little bit sooner. Perhaps feeling, you know what, I've already given up the information. He's actually pulled back to just a single SCV on gas. So it looks like he's planning on going for Single factory into expansion. Maybe I just... Did I brain fart there? So now the Marine being produced. The barracks being lifted off. The Marine pressing forward. And it looks like Miha wants to go ahead and... Take a little bit of control after this. A little bit of map control. He's got one SCV on gas. This is interesting. Sorry, never mind. Still has two. I think this looks just looks like two SCVs. That might be the three. But he's gone... I'm going to assume three. Because he's got the two factories. He's letting this scout walk all the way in though. So, Exit's going to see the two-factory build comparatively. His own factory is up on the opposite corner, and we see a proxy factory from Exit at the 9 o'clock. Interesting. So, the, the SCV is going to die. He knows he's going up against some sort of two-factory build. I'm still not sure. This, like, is bugging me out. I think this still might be... I don't know. That's got to be three... You know, okay, it was two. That was two. All right, my brain wasn't playing tricks on me. Kind of an odd play. Usually when you have factories like this, you want the three SCV in there. Two machine shops being dropped down. And a command center behind this. First vulture out in a third factory. Exit going three factories to start. With one of them at proxy location. And I like this play from him. Basically, he's making it look like, okay, hey, this is, you know, actually a two factory build inside the base. In case anything, in case the barrack comes across and scouts it. But in reality, he snuck this one up above. And he's going to flood in, I assume, just with pure Vulture. The one thing this barracks is going to spot is the Vulture's overhead overall. Double machine shop down. Two siege tanks being produced. And interestingly, an armory being upgraded for exit as a follow-up. So maybe going Goliath to turn this around? I'll be interested to see what this cheese looks like. More Vultures being produced here in the corner. No machine shops yet anywhere. To provide upgrades for those vultures. And that barracks is floating down. It might be able to get eyes on that armory. Which might give some indicator that something odd is up. 
SCV is being transferred to the natural expansion. Two tanks there. Critically, though, nothing blockading the front. It's just going to be these two siege tanks in this vulture and that single marine trying to provide some defense. And this is going to be, what is this? Eight vultures overall. Coming in at different times. Supply depot. Creating a little bit of a wall. Exit gathering up. Keep in mind, siege tanks do pretty well. So group repair on these siege tanks could take all of these vultures out. Third tank moving their way across. Additional SCVs getting killed here on the front. It looks like the rest of these vultures... Yeah, being handled easily by Mia. And now, four siege tanks domineeringly waddling their way out towards exit base. A Goliath has been produced. Finally, a first siege tank, and it looks like mines out there for exit. But exit's in a lot of trouble. He's got a single Goliath and a vulture to defend against all sorts of siege tanks bearing down on his natural expansion. Very, very strange opening build. Not sure what the logic behind the Goliath follow-up is. But mines are online for both players. Exits, honestly, I feel like he's probably lost the game. He does have this sneaky Goliath somehow. And maybe a vulture that can sneak in underneath. Front door's breached. Siege tanks are just walking in here. SCV's pulling off the line. Siege tanks do pretty well against Goliath. The SCVs are able to do some additional damage here. And Miha losing all of his siege tanks to this SCV defense. Nice drone or probe drill. Probe drill? SCV drill to disrupt that attack. So Exit is going to survive this attack. And still hold the three factories. So all of those siege tanks wiped out. More vultures out on the front. And continuing with Goliaths to follow. Interesting. Another vulture down. Also, critically, I believe mines were upgraded here for Miha, but he didn't plant any of them. Finally planting a single mine right there. Overall, exit behind economically. Does have three factories up still. Miha kind of playing it fast and loose and just continuing with an attack force. It looks like these two Goliaths might be able to sneak down and get some additional SCV kills. Two more Goliaths making their way across. Goliaths actually do pretty well against vultures. Exit just allowing his front door... To be wide open. So some mines being planted right there. Mine drag taking out one of the Goliaths. But also two of the vultures. And now exit starting to... Yeah, SCV's being pulled there on that corner. It looks like the Goliath was able to take care of the vultures on the opposite side. And now the Goliath, with a single SCV trying to repair, is going to back off. Try to get additional damage done. That's some economic disruption. Another vulture pressing up. And all of a sudden exit has an unopposed army... On his front door, a third factory and a fourth factory being planted for Miha. Still has the economic advantage, but does not have the supply lead just yet. Planting mines in that natural expansion for Miha. The Vulture working on these SCVs, continuing to get SCV kills. Two more siege tanks wandering out, both of them just eating a, a huge mine right there. And they need to be a little bit careful. SCVs pulling off to go ahead and repair. And Miha diving in again. With more Goliaths and more Vultures. Not your, again, not your typical huge mine right there blowing up both Siege Tanks and several SCVs. And Exit now in the natural expansion with some Vultures, with some Goliaths and everything else. See, two Siege Tanks still might be able to defend this, but this has been a significant amount of economic disruption. Still no second base. And Miha gonna GG right there. Honestly, maybe a bit of an early GG once again. But Exit is going to advance with, I will say, a very odd build. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. So we know that uh, Exit advances to the round of eight. Or sorry, advances to the winner's match. It's back in group stage. Need to get my brain back into this. And we'll see Miha uh, in the loser's match moving forward. Because this is double elimination from here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.